We begin at noontime as we're dealing with some damage left behind by those heavy, loud thunderstorms that moved through very early this morning. Take a look at this scene here. This is at St. Andrews School in Barrington where the clock tower was uh, reportedly struck by lightning during that storm overnight. And 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer is joining us live in North Kingstown. That's where two firefighters were hurt fighting flames at a home very early this morning. Brittany. Well, Danielle, the fire department is located just down the street. Chief Scott Cattell tells us after receiving that 911 call, crews were able to get here really within just two minutes. But when they did arrive, there was already heavy flames coming out of the roof here that's now partially collapsed. Flames and smoke pour out of the roof of this North Kingstown home. Chief Scott Cattell says the fire is not suspicious, but the area of damage and weather this morning begging the question, did Mother Nature play a role? There's a possibility of electrical or lightning. Thunderstorms rolled through the state this morning, the same time multiple fires broke out in North Kingstown, Barrington and Narragansett. On Harrison Avenue, Barrington crews made quick work of a fire through downpours and tell us a lightning strike is to blame. Minutes later, a garage caught fire in Narragansett after being hit by lightning. The state fire marshal is still working to determine an exact cause in North Kingstown. Burned the roof off the house, unfortunately, and the fire had not extended into the living area. So it appears at this point the fire started in the attic space. Chief Cattell says no one is currently living at the Juniper Drive home, so no residents were injured. But the job proving dangerous for firefighters, injuring two, sending one to the hospital for heat exhaustion. Being treated at Kent County Hospital at this time, and a second firefighter treated at the scene, a uh, ceiling had collapsed on top of him. And Chief Cattell says both firefighters are doing okay. An exact cause is still being investigated. Now, family of the homeowners are at this home at this time, but did decline to comment for now. For now, live in North Kingstown, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.